Johnson tried to give Carrie top foreign office job during a fair. So this is the now infamous story that Boris Johnson tried to appoint Carrie Simmons in the midst of their affair into a £100,000 a year job in the foreign office. Now the story was put out by the Times in just the first editions of the newspaper. By the time they were running the later editions of that same newspaper, that story had mysteriously vanished. Prompting publications like the New European to say mystery surrounds the Times exclusive claiming Boris Johnson wanted to give Carrie Simmons a £100,000 role. Why would it just disappear like that? It's not in the later editions of the newspaper, it's disappeared off their website. Now you might think, okay, well domestically, if newspapers or ITV or the BBC are prohibited from talking about this sort of thing, that's where international news will step in because they wouldn't be subject to British media law. And then you see international news sites like msn.com have also removed the story. So what the fuck is going on? Simon Walters at the Times lands the exclusive. But by the time it rolls off the press in hard copy and lands at number 10's doorstep, the staffers and communications team around there must start distributing legal threats to the Times and to the Mail or to the Express for referencing the story. It's all feeling a little bit injunction -y. Which then yields the question, for a government and their followers and disciples who are so obsessed with wokeism's danger to freedom of speech, how exactly do they justify what we have to assume is a Times well-sourced piece about potential rule breaking by the Prime Minister in his Foreign Office job. It's like, hi, I'm a Times journalist and I have a well-sourced piece that suggests the Prime Minister may have abused his position and power and influence to put his then lover in a well-paid role at the expense of taxpayers. It's like, uh, well, uh, no, uh, consider yourself injuncted. Oh, hang on, what, what about freedom of speech? Uh, d d uh no. Well, hang on a second. Like, when they barricaded the mail's print house, you said a great British free press is a solid institution has to be free to hold power to account. Oh, well, I'll go fuck yourself.